Yeah, boy, Rise of Iron is officially here, guys, and I am going to be breaking down all the Vanguard options, all the Crucible options, the vendors have new toys for us to play with, a lot of them are reskins, and of course, with the way Destiny works, a lot of these guns are plugged in archetypes, and because of this, I can tell you exactly what these guns were in a previous life, so what guns this gun was like last year. For example, this pulse rifle was a lot like the Hawksaw, so you know that the Hawksaw was incredible and crucible, so let's aim for that. So I'm going to break these down, talk about the rolls that are on them, or if you're just better off trying to find them in the wild. So if we can, let's aim for 500 likes. I got one coming up in the later evening, talking about the faction options as well. So let's just get started. So, Mr. Quartermaster, what do we got? So we have, to start off, the Auto Rifle. This is the Zero Day Dilemma. You may know it as the Shadow Price. This is a very acceptable roll. It's pretty interesting. We got Hidden Hand, and of course, I prefer Eye of the Storm, if anything. I would go with Rifle Barrel over Brace Frame, but of course, in the future, I'm going to be breaking down doing full gun reviews of all of these guns, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe for that. I'm going to give you the exact God Rolls when the episodes do drop for each of these individually. As for the Pulse Rifle, this is the B-29 party favorite, but you may know this one as the Hawksaw. Now, these rolls are decent, and you wouldn't recommend buying them right off the bat. There's some smarter options available at the other vendors, and including this one as well. Glass Half Full and Rodi are pretty decent, but a lot of people really aim for max ability on this weapon, and, I mean, if you were to pick it up, Rifle Barrel is also the way to go. Scooting over to the Scout Rifle, this is the Hero Formula. You guys may remember an old classic, the Beeline Drama. It used to be one of my favorite scouts in the game. And of course, the Inward Lamp is a more common one that you're used to dealing with. I do like the options available for this one. Third Eye is great for PvP. Life Support is great for PvP. And of course, you have the option between Brace Frame and Explosive Rounds. I, for one, think that's completely useless for this type of Scout Rifle. So Brace Frame is the way to go for this. It would be a pretty acceptable PvP option. Then for the hand cannon, the one that everybody's talking about, the palindrome. And the reason for that is because this is your new IS Luna. It's got decent perks, okay? Not incredible, but decent. Mulligan's acceptable, rangefinder's acceptable, and of course something like rifle barrel can go a long way. Then we're going to scoot over to the special options. We have each new dick. You would know this is the Plan C or the Ash Raven's Flight. These are decent options, of course, not worth picking up. Fusions are not as popular, even though they're actually quite as acceptable. I think something like the 77 Wizard, which you could pick up inside of Crucible right now in this new year, is a more acceptable option, but this one is still pretty decent with the talents it has. Between Snapshot, Counterbalance, and Unflinching, those aren't bad for a fusion rifle. Then for the shotgun, this is the 44 Curtain Call. You would know this is the two to the more. Decent talents, not incredible. I would recommend this as a pass straight across. As for the Anton's Rule, this one's a sidearm. It's in this new category. I don't believe I can compare this to anything in the past. This is a completely new type, and those are decent for what they are, but not incredible by any means. We know how popular shotguns are right now. Fusion rifles are picking up in popularity due to the changes to sniper rifles, so I would still say avoid this until people get more confident with sidearms altogether. As for the Event Horizon, this is a very, very popular option right now because this is capable of res sniping. This is in that highest impact tier, and these talents aren't terrible. Hidden Hand is great for PvP. Spray and play with the three magazine capacity, a pretty acceptable option, and you can't go wrong with Grenadier either. Explosive rounds is a no-no, so you're pretty much forced to go with small bore, which I'm not a big fan of, and it's of course got short gaze, so this is not a bad option to pick up. The Chaotic Neutral, this is the machine gun, and what's so interesting about this is you may remember this is the Bredomart Stand or the Columns Terminus. The Columns was very popular there. In the end, it's got Feeding Frenzy, which is great. You got Range Finder, can't go wrong there, and Brace Frame for stability. I actually really like these, and with Feeding Frenzy and the lower mag capacity of that, it's a pretty nice combination. That's acceptable. I don't know if you're going to find much more satisfying talents available for your guns. So that's a pretty big win right there. Now, something Wicked's pretty interesting. Rockets are rockets. You should know this is the Radagast. Those are decent-ish talents. Of course, they're not ideal. I'm more of a fan of things like tripod tracking, but it's not completely terrible. But it's an obvious pass in this situation. Now, we're going to scoot over and talk about the Vanguard options. All right, Roni, don't fail me. What's on the menu, my man? So... For the brand new auto rifle, this is the Continental. You would know this is the Monte Carlo. This is actually a pretty acceptable one. They're becoming a little bit more popular, of course. This is not ideal for rolls. They're decent, but you really want a whole lot of stability on a weapon like this, just so that you can make sure that those headshots register. So I would say pass on that one. As for the Pulse Rifle, we got the Parthian Shot. These are decent perks. I'm not a big fan of them personally. But this is a very impressive pulse rifle overall because you would know it as the Messenger of Spare Change. She's a very high impact, decent rate of fire options. 
and they're capable of crippling some guardians in the crucible again it's an acquired taste not as popular as they used to be a good year or so ago but they're still pretty admirable and i got one that dropped for me with a really really nice roll i think i got like beating frenzy and something that increased damage it was a very interesting roll and then we're going to scoot over to the angel's advocate now what's so interesting about this is this was the first option i picked up from all of the vendors this one is the most interesting one for me because it's the only scout rifle in this year that is in this particular archetype and we had none last year as far as i can recall you would know this is the mita multi-tool a baby Mita. This is the Angel's Advocate. And what's so interesting about this is because it puts it in its own little tier. It's slightly higher rate of fire than the other popular scout rifles out there, meaning it's got a quicker time to kill, but it can kill in just as many shots. So it definitely edges out those other options. And with something like Outlaw, Reactive, Reload, and your choice between small bore and explosive rounds, it's a very, very interesting option for both PvP and PvE. So this was the first one that I personally chose. And I would say pick it up if you haven't found one already. Then we're going to scoot over to the next option. We have the hand cannon, the how dare you. And this one you would know as the water star. Pretty popular option. It wasn't that favored, but these are decent talents to have on this gun. Hammer Forge, Mulligan, and Luck in the Chamber are all admirable options right there. We're going to scoot over to the X asterisk. This one is the split shifter pro. Personally, not a big fan of it. These are decent choices for a fusion rifle. I like the combination of knee pad, snapshot, and hot swap, but still, at the end of the day, this is not one of the most popular options out there. I still prefer the wizard when we're talking about these things. The Teacup Tempest. This is your Havoc Pigeon reskin. I do, however, really do like these talents. Fitted stock, high caliber rounds, great options. Zen Moment, Army of One, Reactive Reload. There is not a wrong option on that at all. Now we're going to scoot over to the Occam's Razor. This is a sword breaker. I would say these are really, really smart options, but we know that was a very, very unpopular tier of shotgun. Very bad in Crucible. It was acceptable, but it didn't come close to some of the stronger and more higher impact options out there. So I'd say pass on this altogether. The Seventh Sense, this one is the Glass Promontory. Not bad for PvP. Definitely not a great option for PvE due to the lack of impact, but... For the talents that it has on it, they're pretty decent. Now, for the Bone Crusher, this one is very interesting. And this is going to be a fan favorite because this is basically your Jolder's Hammer. Now, that gun really demolished people. Very high impact, strong weapon. And with the talents this has on it, with crowd control combined with feeding frenzy, oh my god. Oh my god, and hand laid stock too, right? I mean, it just gets better. It just gets better. That's a god roll right there. And then we have Disassembly Required. This is really nice. I do like this one. And of course, it's a lot like the Tomorrow's Answer. It's a rocket. Of course, most people are not going to bother using their hardened legendary marks on a rocket launcher. So at the end of the day, what we've picked up is the scout rifle in this category is remarkable. The roll on the bun crusher is amazing. And of course, the palindrome and other options from the crucible side of things were great options. And of course, a lot of them are really, really good tiers. So if you can find them in the wild with better rolls, there's a lot of promising potential in many of these new guns. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to be breaking down the faction options in a video later tonight.